So here we are, Sunday, May 21st, 2017, Tucson, Arizona. Take a look at what we got here. Isn't that just so beautiful? All the way across the Catalina mountain range. Solid white lines in the air. Particulates dumped in our air by airplanes. Called stratospheric geoengineering once again. Typical everyday scenario here in Tucson, Arizona. Just wanted to point that out. Anybody that's just too stupid to even look up, have a nice day. Here we are at the end of the day, 521, 2017. Just a misty haze spread across the skies of Tucson, Arizona. Just kind of a powdery, misty sky. A bunch of garbage just floating in the air. That beautiful? No, it's really not. It's disgusting. See these geoengineering trash individuals. They need to be arrested. They need to be held against charges. Kind of like the same kind of charges they're trying to hold me guilty of, which is a bunch of garbage. All I gotta do is watch my history. Look at one of my videos called Chris Haskell, light worker. Nobody could possibly watch that video. Lightworker Chris Haskell, reporter for Real News Tucson. There's no way anyone could watch that video and find me guilty in a court of law for what they're trying to charge me with. Not possible. Have a nice day, folks. Reporter Chris Haskell. What do you mean there's more? Holy. tonight who leads the Tucson group, mm -hmm. he really believes it. He really does. Does that mean that more and more people believe that these are chemtrails? Well, there's a Tucson resident heading the movement here on chemtrail. Okay, here we are. I'm actually just south of Tucson. Saw Rita. And uh, today is Monday. The uh, sixth. The sixth of <clears throat> what June. is it, June, 2017, and yeah, and I looked to my left and I noticed it's kind of a blue sky today, which I always love. But yeah, it's got a sole cam trail, just you know, airplane dump sole in the sky. I don't know why it needed to be there. I guess they're gonna probably fill it in the rest of the way a little bit later. But just wanted to point this out. Do another video to show you folks that they're spraying Arizona. No question about that. All right, here we are, Real News Tucson.
this is reporter Chris Haskell. And here we are, the end of the day. Get a nice special spray for us. Enjoy the uh, powdered metal coming down on you. Okay, so here we are again, 6th, June 6th, 2017. My lordy, they are working it hard. I'm on the north side of town. Look at this, we're almost uh, heading out to Marana. But my lord, look at that sky. They're working it pretty hard. Uh, as far as the eye can see, it all looks like chemical dumps, particulates dumped into the air by airplanes. Uh, out near uh, Evergreen Air Base, 10 miles or so past us, that's the ones that are, have been fitting all the airplanes for spraying planes. Evergreen Air Base. Yep, look it up. Alright, there we are. Have a good day. Your old news Tucson reporter, Chris Haskell. Okay, and then here we are in Tucson. 7th of June, 2017. Take a look at our skies. It's quite obvious. Very easy to tell, all artificial particulates dumped. In this case, a few miscellaneous real clouds. Poor things are probably being just squeezed to death to make sure they don't have any cloud, any uh, rain. Can't have that darn rain, things might grow. So you can see it's quite obvious. There's a fresh stripe right in front of me there. All kinds of uh, stripes from the spraying of our skies. Just day in, day out, day in, day out. And then, here they are trying to prosecute me. For God knows what, they just got, like, nothing here. And they're trying to say that uh, I put some simulated biological attack on the public. When what, this is exactly what's going on, except that it's not simulated. It's a biological attack on the public. And they're going to try and put me in prison... For putting up my signs this is what they're doing maybe we you need to get everyone to i need the least people to stand up and show up to court this friday my court hearing trying to charge me with uh three charges equal to murder for putting up my signs trying to say i put some biological attack on the back of my signs yeah good luck well all right, there we are, Real News Tucson. Here we are, getting closer to the end of the day, 2.30 2 in the afternoon. Completely overcast with dumped material. And they're spraying barium aluminum powder. Signs around town that tell you to Google what's in the sky or what are they spraying on us. February 2011. Look at this. I, it's just a perfect example of the way Tucson should be. And uh, unfortunately, it's not usually. But I'm going to enjoy the day. I hope you do too. Happy no spray day. <laughs> For whatever reason, you know. Although now it's, it's scary to think, well, is someone important in town? God, that's sad. According to who? 
Alrighty, Chris Haskell, Real News Tucson, Weather Watch, 72 degrees out right now, at least by my uh, thermometer that's in front, in the sun, 72 degrees. Arizona checking in have a nice day so I knew it couldn't last that long and today is Sunday Tucson Arizona here they go Taken him to the locker room. He is questionable the rest of this game. So let's go outside. Let's take it. Let's take a look at what they got going for us outside. Here they go with the spray. Look at this. You know what's great? Is I just noticed a bunch of older folks on here. And what are they doing? I think they're looking up. Friday the seventh, January seventh. No, that's that's a flight pattern I've never seen. Did you get the uh, the video that I sent you about the um, Air Force jet that got that video coverage from above of an aerial sprayer? Uh -uh. I think it was a C-10 or C-10. And what about it? Well, they're disclosing all this stuff. They want people to know about it now. They wouldn't have allowed the Air Force to uh, release that on YouTube, but they're doing it just like they're disclosing the alien presence on the planet. Um, now, now, that almost looks... Just because they're finally admitting to what they're doing. You see this one? This is a different kind of spray here. I don't. It's not a contrail, but it's a different type of spray, don't you think? Look at it. It's dissipating differently. overhead it leaves a trail across the sky for years viewers have been telling me it's a cover-up chief meteorologist chuck george investigates the scientific facts behind the contrail controversy tonight live at 10 on kold news 13. and your first alert forecast for very cool weather on memorial day that's straight ahead also dan we've got the big story tonight it is all about kim trail contrail which one is it What's in the sky above us? We went searching for an answer. I'm looking forward to that one. Thanks, Chuck. And severe weather is not letting up in the Midwest. The latest towns to get hit by tornado. All right, now to a special report you will only see on KLD News 13. You see them every day, white trails that are left behind by jets. Some say there's a lot more to those trails than what you've been told. It's leading to a lot of speculation. First Alert Chief Meteorologist Chuck George is here now with some answers. There are a lot of opinions about contrails out there, guys, but we went digging for the science. We wanted to find out what's fact and what's fiction. Jet exhaust has water vapor in it. Planes fly way high up in the sky where the air is very cold. Cold air forces the moisture in the exhaust to condense, forming man-made trails of cloud particles. But others say these contrails are in fact chemtrails. Even pop icon Prince has talked about it. When I was a kid I used to see these trails in the sky all the time and so oh, that's cool. A jet just went over and then you started to see a whole bunch of them. 
And the next thing you know, everybody in your neighborhood was fighting and arguing, and you didn't know why. Sound a little different? The chemtrails theories are vast. Solar radiation management, population control, weather control, even biological and chemical warfare. Chris Haskell is a Tucson resident heading the movement here on chemtrails. They're spraying barium and aluminum powder, and they're doing this to control the weather. So we went to ask some questions. Does the government have a secret plan to control the weather? Fact. The government has thought about and experimented with weather modification in the past. But also fact, the Air Force has stated on more than one occasion that there are no experiments going on. Confused? To clear it up, we need to go back to 1996 and an unclassified Air Force paper. It examined weather modification as one method of remaining a world superpower, a superpower in the year 2025. Now I've read the paper and read it and read it again. It pushed planners to look outside the box, even at fictional situations. It forced them to imagine a world in 2025. To even imagine things that might seem, well, mythical at this time. That world included weather modification. So, did the paper give away secret plots to spray the atmosphere and us? Why are they there some days and not others? Why do they sometimes look like planned patterns? Scientists say the explanations are simple. The upper atmosphere has to be just moist enough that the contrail doesn't evaporate as soon as it forms. That happens sometimes, but not always. The patterns that chemtrail proponents say look planned are simply the paths that American airspace follows. Airspace is generally gridded into north-south paths. Anybody can take a look at the skies for themselves and tell the difference between what is a contrail and what is an obvious 50 mile long plume coming out of the back of a plane that's being sprayed that gets larger and larger and literally makes itself into a cloud. Need more opinions? They are all over the net. But here's the opinion of the leader of the University of Arizona's atmospheric science program. They are formed from the condensation of water vapor coming out of the jet engine for those airplanes. Yep, that's a contrail. We talked about that. So is there something secret or scary going on? There is no conspiracy. There is no conspiracy. There is no conspiracy. So that was the wow. opinion of the University of Arizona's head of the Atmospheric Science Department. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's so interesting. We've been hearing about this more and more, and I, we get a lot of emails about this, and I know we've had conversations. It, does that mean that more and more people believe that these are chemtrails? Well, there's been a movie that, the, that these groups have made about it. They've posted it on YouTube. You're seeing signs around town that tell you to Google what's in the sky or what are they spraying on us. I think there probably are more and more people saying this, and I just met the gentleman tonight who leads the Tucson group. Mm -hmm. He really believes it. He really does. However, scientifically, I've never seen a contrail in the sky that I couldn't explain by looking at a weather map and saying, oh, there's humidity way up high, even mm -hmm. though it's really dry down here. You know, I think one thing to put it to rest, why don't they just go up there, follow one of those jets, and capture that... Uh that cloud and analyze it. And I've asked those questions as well. You know, they are saying that there's barium in the lakes in Arizona that somehow is related to what's up there. There's a missing link in science. If you're going to say something's in the lake, you've got to be able to prove where it came from. Yep. Just mm -hmm. measuring it there doesn't necessarily mean that it came from a plane. All right. Thanks for right. you back. Jack. Still to come, your first word forecast with Chief Chuck and the winning Powerball numbers for $144 million. Yes, and good luck.